New question, two-minute answer, goes to President Bush. Sandy will ask it. Mr. President, there's been a lot of talk about Harry Truman in this campaign, so much so that I think tomorrow I'll wake up and see him named as the next commissioner of baseball. They could use but the that. thing that Mr. Truman didn't have to deal with is drugs. Americans are increasingly alarmed about drug-related crimes in cities and suburbs. And your administration is not the first to have grappled with this. And are you at all of a mind that maybe it ought to go to another level, if not to what's advocated by William F. Buckley, Jr. and Milton Friedman, legalization, somewhere between there and where we are now? No. I, I don't think that's the right answer. I don't believe legalizing narcotics is the answer. I just don't believe that's the answer. I do believe uh, that there's some fairly good news out there. The use of cocaine, for example, by teenagers is dramatically down. But we've got to keep fighting on this war against drugs. We're doing a little better in interdiction. Many of the countries below that used to say, well, this is the United States problem. If you get the demand down, then we wouldn't have the problem, are working cooperatively with the DEA and other law the, the military. We're using the military more now in terms of interdiction. Our funding for uh, recovery is up, recovering the addicts. Where we're not making the progress, Sander, is in, we're making it in teenagers. And thank God, because I, I thought what Ross said was most appropriate about these families and these children. But where we're not making it is with the confirmed addicts. And uh, I'll tell you one place that's, that's working well, and that is the private sector. Jim Burke and this task force that he has, you may know about it. I'll tell the American people, but this man said, I'll get you a million dollars a day in pro bono advertising, something that's very hard for the government to do. And he went out and he did it. And people are beginning to educate through this program, teaching these kids you shouldn't use drugs. So we're still in the fight. But I must tell you, I think legalization of narcotics or something of that nature in the face of the medical evidence would be totally counterproductive. And I oppose it, and I'm going to stand up and continue to oppose it.